know who you are. Dear Toastmasters, dear guests, it took me 10 years before I stumbled across a concept which helped me, helped me to understand who I am. It was a really great journey, and now I'm going to share some points with you. And I suppose after the session, you will know yourself a bit better. And now we shall start from the very beginning. I also suppose you know this guy in the middle, Carl Jung. He is famous psychologist. And based on his work, two ladies, both Briggs, mother and daughter, developed a system, a methodology to somehow classify humans' psyche. So tonight, we are going to be a part of experiment, mostly you, because all the presentation will be de devoted to you, and you are to make, to choose four letters at the end of the meeting, and the the chosen letters will be your type. It's really easier to show you what it, I mean than to explain it. The question for you, where do you get energy from? It's either from the inside, it means you are getting energized when you are alone, or from the outer world, when you are among people. When you are outside, it's extraversion. So now, first task for you, given the choice, which do you prefer? And there are some words to help you. Please memorize the first letter. Choose from E or I. I suppose first letter is done. The next question will be, how do you take information in? It's either by sensing, using touching, smelling, or other senses, or intuition in the form of ideas, concept, or some of your imagination. This will be your second letter. And here are some words to help you. I guess the second letter is here. Let's go to the third one. Are you a thinker or are you a feeler? How do you make decisions? It's either by pure logic, which means thinking, or you just feel like it is right to do. Then choose feeling. And again, for the third letter, some words to help you out. I remind you that now we have three letters to memorize. So make your choice. And the last one, the fourth letter, depends on how you organize your life. It's either order and planning or judging. Elsewhere, you are perceiving. You have free mind. You do spontaneous things. And here are some words to help you to decide what it is. We all use both of the letters in each pair, but essential or easier to use is just one. And now we are trying to compose four letters word with those letters you chosen. You all remember this, right? To remind you, that was the choice. 
please choose again and if you memorize this that will be the starting point now let me know your better who has the first letter i as upper eight boxes great thank you others i guess are in another eight boxes that's great and now the promised brilliant of the speech to get to know yourself better there are sources on the internet and there using those four letters you can find all information you need to find out what do those really mean for you in the real life and Mr. Toastmaster, you're next. Thank you.